Hi everyone, Chris Tuck here, um, survivesofabuse.org.uk. Now I haven't done a vlog on this page for a very, very long time. So I thought it's about time I popped on here and just had a conversation about feeling silenced and what does that mean for different people, especially victim and survivors of child sexual abuse. So I spoke up in primary school, I wrote a story. I told I had an overactive imagination. I spoke up to my dad and my stepmom who took me to the police station. I was made to have an internal uh, examination even though I said nothing like that had happened and I had to go through that humiliation, degradation and being ashamed of what happened to me. I wasn't listened and I had to go through that physical exam for no reason, in my opinion. I was further silenced when I spoke up to social services, when they visited my stepmom, who put us in clean clothes, who put food on the table, and then social services took us out of that environment, took us to a local park and said, right, what is going on for you? I told them that that was all a visual that they wanted to present, and that was not the truth. We were hungry, we often wore dirty clothes, we were neglected, we were beat up, we were uh, mentally, physically abused by her whilst my dad was in prison and my mum was getting access to us um, while she was going through the, the courts to get custody of us. Um, they went back and spoke to the adults who denied what we'd said to them and then we got into further trouble with the stepmother once social services disappeared. So they obviously didn't believe us. My brother ran away on multiple occasions, got brought back by the police to the stepmother, got into trouble for doing so. So there were many, many signs. You could smell us. You could see the neglect. You could see the hunger. We always got extra food at school, which we're always thankful for. Extra food at school from the dinner ladies who saw how hungry we was. But all of this was ignored. Now you're probably going to say, well, Chris, this was like 40 years ago. The fact is, there are cases right now in the papers about the same kind of stuff. The same kind of abuse, the same kind of neglect. It's in the papers. These children, unfortunately, had then been murdered by the caregivers. We wasn't, so we were lucky. But what I'm trying to say is, the same stuff happens time and time again, yet it the system doesn't change. Now I know many professionals who work in social services, in the police, in schools, that are fantastic human beings that want to be doing the right thing and are doing the right thing. But there is also the system that obviously doesn't work because children like me, 30, 40 years ago, even today, are being dropped, yeah? Now, when professionals do not act on your behalf, you feel silent, so eventually you don't speak up anymore until you become an adult and then you might find your voice like I have. I have gone through the criminal justice system for the last five years and again, I've had to fight and fight and again, I have felt silenced. Now I'm sharing all of this with you because I know there are victims and survivors out there that are feeling silenced because the independent inquiry into child sexual abuse didn't investigate their particular institution, hasn't answered them in the way that they expect. And now they want those answers from me. I just want to convey that I 
don't have these answers, guys. It is not within my gift to you. I can't take away your pain. I can't take away the fact that you're feeling silent, but I get it, I truly do. And I just want to say to you, I understand your anger, which is a righteous anger. I understand how you are feeling because I also feel it. So what I have got in my gift is to apologize to you, not on my behalf, because I've done nothing to you, but apologize to you for all of those people in your life that have failed you, that have let you down, and have left you feeling the way that you are feeling. That is what I have got within my gift. But please also give me the same consideration and the same respect. I am a survivor and I am dealing with all of my own stuff as well as picking up the pieces and speaking up on behalf of other people. And that is what I am going to do going forward is to fight, to break down barriers, to have these awkward conversations and to better protect children today, tomorrow and going forward. We all need to somehow put our differences to the side and come together and move forwards. Because I can't take any more personal attacks on me, which I don't deserve and I am not going to put up with because I have to think about my own mental, emotional and physical health. So I extend my understanding and my empathy to you as a fellow human being and fellow survivor. And that is all I can do. So please remember that I am the same. I am hurting, I have righteous anger and I want things to change. And I want you to get your answers, but I can't provide those answers to you for which I do apologize, but it's just not within my gift. All right, guys, I've got a Pilates class to teach. So I um, will see you another time. Bye for now.